Welcome back to America's Retirement Headquarters, home of the Retirement Guys Formula and America's Medicare Associates with Nolan Baker, Scott Kirshner, and Chaz Price. 419-794-3030 is the phone number. Once again, 419-794-3030. We've mentioned several times throughout the show about events, educational events that they do throughout the year to see the full list and to, to figure out how to go ahead and reserve your seat for those. Go to ARHQ.com. Just click on the events tab right over there. Guys, there's a young woman on TikTok on TikTok, whose grandparents were trying to find an elderly living facility. They have one and a half million dollars saved, but they were told by the facility, well, actually, that's not enough. She was appalled. She thought she was going to get some type of inheritance, but realized that might actually not happen. Here is what she said at the end of her post. A lot of people can't get into retiring communities at all, no matter how much money they have, no matter if they're sitting on that $400,000 house that they bought in the 70s for 10 grand, okay? So what they do is they end up spending all of their money, all of it so that they can qualify for government paid for end of life care. So like regardless of whether you have money or don't have money, it's all going to disappear. Someone's healthcare is going to take it. They're going to say, I don't care how old you are until you die. I'm taking every single cent you have. If there's someone in the industry who can talk about why the fuck this is, that would be so helpful. Thank I, you. I think you guys might be just those people. Uh, how do you avoid a nursing home taking your lifetime of savings? Well, you know what? I'm experiencing this right now, and, and I, I will tell you, it, it is a big issue. Um, uh, you know, I haven't I haven't talked about mom in a while, so I'll, I'll, I'll digress a second here and give everybody an update. So a month ago, uh, my mom, 85 years old, she fell, passed out, fell straight backwards, mm. and broke her back. She broke uh, her back between L5 or L7 and 8. Yeah, um, everybody's cringing here, right? She's 85 with a broken back. So okay. she goes to the emergency room. She's in the emergency room for a couple of days. And uh, from the emergency room, she went right straight to a skilled nursing facility. Um, and I've been talking with mom for quite a while now because the last couple of years, I mean, up until this incident, this year has been phenomenally well for her. But last year, as you all know, she had a horrible year. And I told her, I said, Mom, you know what? It's about time we start thinking about getting you into a, an assisted living facility. You know, you might want to start thinking about this because they're going to do so many things for you. And you're going to be around people that are, are similar in age, and you're going to talk to them. And it's going to, there's just so many advantages, right? So I've been doing some pricing. Well, this last fall really kicked her butt, and she's... A little more open to it now than she was. Uh, so, you know, I've looked out for some pricing. So for my mom, at her age and her abilities, she can pretty much take care of herself. Right now, she cannot shower herself. Uh, she needs somebody there. And, um, you know, we need to make sure that she's taking all of her medication. So in assisted living, they have a couple of different levels of care. You know, so mom needs level two care. So just to give you listeners some, some ideas on this. We were quoted 4800 a month for an assisted living. Now, this is her kind of like an apartment, okay? Um, 4800 a month. Now, I had another client that actually came in two weeks ago, and he was talking about his mom and his situ her situation, and she was level five care of memory care. That's as bad as it gets. And she was paying ten thousand a month for her care in a nursing home okay so if you listeners out there are, are looking something up if you do a google search how do you protect your assets in in the nursing home from a nursing home the first thing that's going to pop up is buy long-term care insurance and the time that you want to purchase long-term care insurance isn't right before you go into a nursing home because you're not going to get it Mm -hmm. You need to start preparing for this. You need to prepare for this, you know, as early as in your 40s, you know, because, you know, the pricing. And, and we've talked about how you can get the um, uh, hybrid plans for long-term care, life insurance with a long-term care rider. We've talked a lot about those plans. But just to give you some ideas, you know, when I look at this, $1.5 million, You've got Social Security that comes in there. If you've got $1.5 million saved up, you probably have roughly a husband or wife, about 4000 roughly in Social Security benefits. You're going to need, at $10,000, you're going to need $72,000 a year for a husband or wife. 
that's you know that's going to get you six thousand of uh, a monthly expense and then your four thousand of um, uh, social security. That's coming up with ten grand. That's going to get you about twenty years. That's going to get you about twenty years living in a in a, um, a long term care facility. Numbers show that that's not typically what happens. So yes, it's extremely expensive, and if you don't have the luxury of having one point five million dollars put away, uh, it's it's going to it's going to go through everything you've got. And here's one more thing that I'll end on and let I'll let you guys jump in here. But if you go into, if you burn through all of your money and you go into a nursing home with no assets at all, you're not picking and choosing the facility you're going into. You know, we're talking Medicaid at that point and you're not picking the type of home you want to go into. Mm -hmm. So it's important to kind of understand and know all of that. You know, we're here to help you out with that. Guys, add, add well, to it. You know, what I'd say is if you look at our, our listeners, we have a young listener base. You know, so a lot of people may be these adult children getting closer to retirement time. And they might be thinking about situations for their mom and dad, just like mm-hmm. what you shared with us, Scott, too. So, you know, if you're listening and you're thinking about how do you avoid a nursing home taking your life savings, if you're thinking about your situation or if you're thinking about mom and dad's situation, just remember it breaks down into this. There's what is called crisis and there's non-crisis planning. Scott, you gave some great examples, you know, for our younger listening audience that are healthy. You know, they can go out and they can look at traditional long-term care insurance. They can look at, you know, a life insurance with the long-term care plan. They can look at taking and making a single deposit into a life leverage plan. There's some really good Mm non-crisis solutions that are out there. But, you know, you might also be in a situation where maybe a spouse is getting closer to needing a facility. Maybe somebody uh, has existing health problems and they couldn't qualify for traditional coverage. Or maybe you're thinking about mom and dad and what do I do in their situation? Um, It just pains me. When I run into people, and I run into people too often that says, yeah, we you know, spent all mom and dad's assets down in a nursing home, because it doesn't have to be that way. There's still other things that can happen. So my advice would be, you know, if you're in a situation, you're listening to the show, and you think, well, you know, I've tried to get long-term care insurance before, but I couldn't, uh, just know that there are other strategies. As an example, uh, you can add a writer onto an annuity count. So in 5 or 10 or 15 years from now, if you need long-term care, you've got some extra benefits. We try to focus on a plan that's designed to keep you out of a nursing home, mm-hmm. help you maintain control and independence. And that rider could go a long way for what you need around the house as people slow down and age. Also, the next thing is, is, you know, there's legal ways to move what is called your countable assets into an uncountable category. You know, Medicaid has a system that is designed to, you know, pay for people when they've exhausted their assets. But they don't necessarily give you a playbook that says, here's how you shelter your assets. Um, It's somewhat of a gray area. But this is an area where I think working with a team like our team and taking a comprehensive approach... We have some great relationships with some elder care attorneys in town, and that's where you get all these people sitting at the same side of the table. You get Scott helping out, saying, you know, well, what's the best health insurance scenario uh, based upon what their health situation is? You get Chaz with, you know, being a certified financial planner saying, let's put the case design together. You've got the attorney. You've got everybody kind of making those decisions on how to help avoid having somebody's life savings wiped out. Um, And so no matter what situation you're in, my advice would be uh, talk with somebody and get a plan in place because doing nothing is still a choice. Mm -hmm. It's a choice to do nothing. And that just leaves your assets exposed, you know, to probably unnecessary risk. Yeah, I I would. I think you guys, you hit it on the on the head there. As I'm thinking through this topic, I'm I'm wondering if things are it's going to get worse. You know, as the the lady on the uh, the segment was talking about. Um, some people aren't even able to get in, even with a million dollars. And it's probably because the nursing homes have their pick of the litter now, if you if you would, that they get to pick and choose which clients they're going to accept based on their financial resources. And with the aging demographic and 10,000 people turning 65 every day, they've got a lot of choices. And sure. so um, it, it makes sense to me. You know, there's there's just a, a number of strategies like you talked about there, but I'm always an advocate too of trying to avoid the risk as much as possible. I don't know mm-hmm. how much it's it's actually doable, but maintaining healthy lifestyles and you know eating right and not smoking and 
and uh, overconsumption of, of alcohol and things like that. Those are mm -hmm. obviously some things that people can do. Um, you know, we have resources that we can help if that's something that you're interested in learning about uh, how to how to avoid risk in general and how to live healthier lifestyle. We we also can help you with that as well. So, yeah, there's a lot to do there. Again, being able to control what you can control, especially when it comes to look as as. Time has shown people are living longer and longer, and while that is great, that also does mean that the form of some sort of medical assistance, uh, we say long-term care, it's not just about the facilities, but you know, perhaps needing some home health, it becomes less and less a uh, possibility and more and more of a probability. So being able to account for that and hopefully not be blindsided by these costs uh, if they do come down the line with developing these strategies, some which don't involve any underwriting and you know aren't use it or lose it like a, a black and white uh, long-term care uh, uh, policy, Exploring the options, find out what's going to work best for you. It all starts with working, again, with the team at America's Retirement Headquarters. 419-794-3030 uh, is how you get started. Start putting that plan in place. 419-794-3030 and the website, arhq.com.